Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. As we mentioned in our intro video, the physiology of pregnancy is incredibly unique. It's everything you learned about physiology, but times two. And what's more, these physiologies are connected. In this sketch, we're going to cover the most important physiologic changes that occur in a woman system by system. In our next sketch, we'll go over the other half of this equation, the fetus. Looks like class is back in session, but this time it's an outdoor gardening class? Man, schools have gotten fancy these days. Well, we better see what's happening over at the kindergarten. So first, let's talk about progesterone, symbolized by this protective dome. This is the main hormone that's the cause of so many of the physiologic changes seen during pregnancy, which is why we've placed the dome over this uterus plant. The upstream effect of progesterone is that it causes smooth muscle relaxation, which is the catalyst for a lot of the physiologic changes in pregnancy. We're going to till up the details of the effects of pregnancy on each system, so grab your gardening gloves and let's go. This girl over here looks like her heart is a flutter, so let's start with the cardiovascular system. As we just mentioned, elevated progesterone causes smooth muscle relaxation, which in the cardiovascular system means vasodilation. This must be why this girl's sleeves and pants look mighty dilated. The overall effect of this is decreased systemic vascular resistance, symbolized by her untied shoelace, our recurring symbol for decreased SVR, and lower blood pressures. In general, pregnant women have decreased blood pressure from their baseline for up to 24 weeks, and then the blood pressure tends to rise again. Of note, a woman's blood pressure should at no point be higher than prior to pregnancy, but that's a whole nother can of worms, which we'll cover on our sketch about hypertensive diseases of pregnancy. Pregnancy also causes an increase in the baseline heart rate. A normal heart rate in pregnancy is between 90 and 100 beats per minute. Due to this increase in heart rate, the decrease in systemic vascular resistance, and increase in blood volume, which we'll cover more in a little bit, the overall cardiac output is increased in pregnancy, which we'll remind you of with this heart spigot pouring out a ton of water. Due to this increased cardiac output, you may hear a systolic ejection murmur in these pregnant patients. Moving on to our next system, the pulmonary system. Within the pulmonary system, progesterone affects central respiratory centers and makes them more sensitive to CO2. Just like how this plant is one of those special ones that is extra sensitive to its environment. While the downstream effect of this is extensive and not completely elucidated, it is in part responsible for the increase in tidal volume found in pregnancy. So we've turned up the volume on this radio way high. Man, this plant is sensitive. It needs some jams to grow. Tidal volume is the volume of air that's moved in one breath, just like this tune seems to be blowing the air out of these speakers. Because the respiratory rate itself stays the same, the increase in tidal volume causes an increase in minute ventilation, which is the total volume of gas inhaled and exhaled in a minute. So that's why the radio is only set to play for 60 seconds. 